this video, I'll be doing some electrical work upstairs in our workshop. I'll show you how to plan, run wire, install outlets and lights, and explain how some of those details come together to power that shop. We recently bought and moved into a Victorian house from the late 1800s and plan on creatively renovating it. I've started to set up shop in the old horse barn, but as you can see, the lower level is already pretty crammed with table saw, router table, and other tools. We also have a winter chicken coop and some farm storage down here, which limits the in-feed and out-feed needs of certain machines, such as the planer and joiner. Luckily, we have a very large empty space upstairs that would work perfectly for those machines and others. The first thing I like to do is plan the work. This allows me to get material takeoffs, know where to run the wire, outlets and switches, and start to solve some of the problems I'll face when doing the work. This plan I'm drawing won't answer all the questions that will most likely be different from the final product, but it really helps. I'm going to start with the lights, which I'll explain in details later, and work out where the outlets should go. I like to draw these plants to scale so I can get a real sense of the space. This allows me to come back later and work out an accurate layout. One of my concerns in designing this electrical system is that I wanted to run all of the lights on one breaker. So here's what I came up with. Power basically has to go through the first switch and carry to the second switch without being able to be turned on and off by that first switch. And here's a diagram of that system. In green we have the ground wires, in red the neutrals, and in black the hot wires. So you can see that the hot wire carries through to the second switch box in the first switch box and then gets interrupted by the first switch and links the first switch to the downstairs outlet for the lights. And then it's just a matter of making simple electrical connections. I won't go into detail about all these connections other than this because I'm not an electrician and if you don't feel comfortable doing this kind of work, you shouldn't attempt to do so and call an electrician. So let's get to work. The first thing that needs to get done is a thorough cleaning upstairs. There's what looks like about a hundred years of dust. Then I have to prepare all of the boxes. I'm using metal boxes for durability, but that means that I have to use the wire clamps that come with them to make sure the wires are secured tightly to the boxes and nothing moves once it's in place. Thank you. 
Traditionally, you'd want to run all of the boxes, then all of the wiring, and then do all your connections all at once. But in this case, I wanted to run the lights and power them up first so that I could work after dark and so that the remainder of the footage I needed to film would be of higher quality. Now that the switch is wired, I can start running some of the lights. I'm using these double bulb LED shop lights that are simple plug-in linkable lights from Amazon. I'll include a link to them in the description. Fairly affordable and very easy to install. So now we can focus on the outlets for upstairs. First thing I do is lay out the boxes, then screw them in. These are all prepared uh, off camera. And once they're in place, I can start drilling holes for the wire. I'm using a three quarter inch self feeding bit on an impact, which makes quick work of this. I like to use a Milwaukee impact because I can decide what speed I'm, uh, I'm drilling at, which means that the bit doesn't overheat and get dull over time. And now I can start running wire. I'm using 12-2 wire, which is a heavier gauge than the wire for the lights, because it's possible these machines will be drawing a little bit more power. I'm using a 20 amp breaker for all of these outlets. Um, I don't anticipate I'll be running more than two outlets at the same time, meaning that I don't need a ton of amperage. Uh, most of the machines I own don't run more than 20 amps, even at startup. Once the wires run in between all the boxes, I could start making the connections to the receptacles. I like to keep roughly 8 inches out of the box. That gives me enough wire to then come back and do all my connections easily. I do want to make it clear that I am not an electrician, that I am doing this on my own property, and that you shouldn't attempt this if you don't feel comfortable doing so. I did learn a lot from the Sparky channel on YouTube. Um, this man is an electrician and he knows exactly what he's doing and he's got videos for just about every electrical connection you can imagine so do check him out and then it's rinse and repeat for all the other outlets upstairs once all the outlets are wired i can go downstairs and wire it into the breaker and test all the outlets and here's what it looks like upstairs now. Thanks for watching, and now get back to work.